observation. And you remember what prime factorization is? What was the prime factorization, Kaylee Schellhammer? Do you remember? Um, when a factor only has um, a rate. When uh -huh. a number only has two factors. Those are prime numbers. But when you prime factorize something, what was that? There was like two different ways to do it. There was the, Andrew? The pyramid, like the dividing pyramid. Yeah, we call that the fact, oh yeah, factor tree and then the dividing, division by prime is what it says. And uh, you will do this every time they ask you to do this. You don't always have to do this, but if they ask you to do it, you must do it. Uh, step number one, then, ladies and gentlemen, is you need to prime factorize both numbers. Both the denominator and the numerator. Which means it's going to take some time. Now, what I would suggest... <clears throat> you don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. If you prime factorize 1,000, it might be a good idea to just to jot that in your notes that you have it. You'll probably figure out what 1,000 breaks down into that way. Let's do 1,000 in the tree form. Uh, 1,000 is 10 times 100, correct? 10 is 2 times 5. 100 is 10 times 10. We can stop with these. 10 breaks down into 2 times 5. And 10 breaks down into 2 times 5. So I'm going to rewrite this. Instead of writing 1,000 on the bottom, I'm going to write down its prime factorization, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. That's what 1,000 equals prime factorized. 375, just to mix things up, I'm going to divide by division of primes. What number goes into 375? And how do I know? Work with me, sixth grade. I know you just had lunch, but your brain should be functioning properly. Alex? Um. Using your rules of divisibility, we know that what number goes into 275? What prime number goes into 375? Sorry. Three? Uh, no. Maybe, but it's not the one I would go with. Maggie? Five? Yeah, it ends with a five, so divide it by five. 5 goes into that, what, 7 times, uh, and then 5 times 75. And what number goes into 75? Julia? 25. Let's go, there's got to be a prime number, though. It ends with a 5, so let's go with 5. 5 goes into 75 15 times. What number goes into 15? Let's go 5 again, just because. And that's a 3. So 3 did go into it, but I was just kind of trying with the easiest ones I could think of. So the prime factorization of 375 is this, 3 times 5 times 5 times 5. So that's step number one. I prime factorize both numbers. Can anybody guess what step number two is? Because I distinctly remember talking about this probably two or three math classes ago. Somebody asked the question, like, I don't understand what to do when I see this. What do you do here, Cabron? Notice my sixth grade invitation. I don't know what we're doing. I guess I don't know. I thought that was kind of neat. Cabron? Um, you cross out the numbers that are missing. Right. One for one, you cross off like top and bottom factors. One for one. In other words, I don't have any threes on the bottom, so I can't cross any threes off, but I do have a five on the bottom and a five on top, another five on the bottom, another five on top, a third five on the bottom, a third five on top. That's everything that crosses off. Guess what step number three is? If there's numbers, you have to re-multiply if needed. Re-multiply. Re-multiply. In other words, this. I only have a 3 on top, so it's good. But on the bottom, I have three twos, so I need to re-multiply this 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8, 3 eighths. When you do this, you will come up with the completely reduced fraction every time. Never in the end will you be able to reduce 3 eighths any farther. Okay? 
Now, another example. If you had 875 over 1,000, and this is what I was talking about, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. In other words, I already did 1,000 once. It's in my notes there. You should know that 1,000 breaks down into what? By the way, there's a little here. Take a look. 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000. You might be able to tell me the prime factorization of all those right now. Maybe if you can see the pattern. Prime factorization of 10 is? 2 times 5. Guess what the prime factorization of 100 is? 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. 1,000? 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. 10,000? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. Okay. So you don't have to sit. I don't, you know, I would think at this point you can probably write some of these down and, and know them. So 1,000, we've already got the 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. 875, you're probably going to have to sit and do. And again, it's up to you how you want to do it. I was down here. I would go by 5 first. 5 goes 175. 175 is what? 3. 35 is 5 times 7. So you end up with 5 times 5 times 5 times 7. And when you cross them out, what happens? 5 with the 5, 5 with the 5, 5 with the 5. You end up with 7 over 2 times 2 times 2, 8. By the way, what would happen if everything on top crossed off? What if there was a 7 on the bottom here and the 7 crossed off? Does anybody know? Maybe? It's a 1. Because really what you're doing here is you're saying 5 goes into 5 once. We're just not writing the 1s down. Okay? Everything crosses off, it's a 1. Everything crosses off gives a 1. Now, time for you to try one. How about this one? 36 over 81. Do this one for me and then we'll move along. Prime factorize those and then cross cancel those. Please. 36 over 81. Be able to get an answer. Hopefully, it looks a little like this. 36 is 6 times 6, which is 2 times 3, and 2 times 3. So you end up with 2 twos and 2 threes, right? 81 is 9 times 9, which is all a bunch of threes times themselves. And when you cross them off, this 3 with this 3, this 3, this 3, 
nothing else crosses off, you remultiply this, it is 4 over this, which is 9. Questions, concerns, ask now or forever hold your peace. Alex? Um, I divided 36 by 6, and then got 6, and then divided 6 by 3, and got 2. Well, and here's the deal with this. If you're doing division by primes, Alex, this number has to be a prime number. So you can't use 6, because 6 is a prime. Again, I told you, I always try, if it's an even number, shoot it through, to cut it in half until you can't cut it in half anymore. And then when you get to 9, it would be 3 times 3. So, yeah, division by primes means it has to be a prime that you're dividing by. Anybody else, anything? Four once? One place. Case.